Hi, my name is Mike Murphy. I'm Senior Financial Consultant in the Stirling Office for Your Move, and I've been with the company for 26 years. Um, I've been consistently number one for the last 20, um, and I'm looking to take it a little bit easier now. When I first came off the course an awful long time ago, one of the things I would always recommend is sitting down and making sure you're comfortable in your own surroundings, your own office. Make sure it's set up the way that you want it to be set up. So, you know, you've got your desk in a position where you're comfortable how you interview the clients and where they sit. Make sure that you've got plenty of your documentation to hand so you're not caught short at any time where you've got somebody with you um, and you, you run out of documentation and have to run about a little bit. And that way you can sit, you're comfortable with your peers, you work with your colleagues um, and everything's nice and rosy so you're prepared for every eventuality that you can consider coming in. When I'm arranging mortgages, which is a core part of our job, always, always, always protection. I don't write virtually any mortgages without protection. As far as I'm concerned, they go hand in hand. Um, when I'm interviewing people, the very beginning we start talking about it and we talk about it all the way through. So there's no in unexpected surprises, there's no objections to budget later on at the very end. We're not addressing it at the very end of the interview. We sit them down and we have a chat. And I always start my interviews with, you know, obviously we introduce ourselves, we go through the business card and the IDD. And I'll, I'll ask them some questions about themselves just to relax them. Um, and then what I'll actually ask is, well, who have you been to see so far? And I'll ask them, which different lenders have you been to see? And they'll, they'll list the lenders or the brokers for you. And then, and don't be shy, just say, well, okay, and of everybody you've seen so far, who's your favourite? Um, and they'll tell you who your favourite is, and that is where I would then do my comparisons. So, for example, if they'd been to see a local broker to me, um, I would ask them, okay, so it's that guy you've seen, who did he recommend, what was the product, get a feel for why he's recommended what he has, and it's opening them up, and you then get an understanding of how much they do or don't know. You know, some of them will go, I've got no idea, some of them will give you a lot of detail. And you say, okay, I'm going to go through my interview with you, explain how it all works, um, and then basically for me, I'm going to draw a comparison to what the other person has said. And invariably, more often than not, they haven't even brushed on protection, um, bills and contents, anything. They've just went the bare mortgage and nothing else. And I'll sit down and I'm never shy with it and say, well, that's fine. That's fantastic. He's done that. But this is a core part of what you need. So if he's quoted you this, you're going to have to add a budget of X to that. And we'll add the budget of X to mine. So you know the full proper cost. I'm not later on going to come down and go, oh, we're going to add... 30 quid for this or 20 quid for that you've got the figure from day one and you know exactly what you're working to so down the line when you present to the client your recommendation then you've already got the budget you've already got the buy-in you've already fully discussed protection so you know you will have objections of, of every kind from everything including mortgage and life but at the end of the day you've got as, as, as many out of the way as possible um, so from my perspective that works for me and also when I'm doing the documentation it's a bit of an assumptive close as well. I just take it as read that you're doing it. If they're not doing it, they'll tell you. Or if you've presented um, the Rolls Royce and you know fine they're not going to go for it, then you'll have a discussion about what is affordable and what they want to do. But I always, always, always take it as read we're getting it. I never ask them, are we going with it? I just take it, right, let's get the form filled out. Let's fill in the details. And that's exactly how I proceed. One of the new add-ons that we have with the new Aviva policy, we've got global cover and fracture cover, which aren't anything I'm used to selling before. Um, and I've found I'm doing an awful lot of global with a lot of people because when you look at the actual detail of the cover it gives, it's absolutely off the charts phenomenal. Um, and obviously the standard rate with the, the existing provider would be you know in the £40 a month region, um, and we're getting it for four. And again, what I do is when I'm explaining it to clients, I explain what it gives them, keep it quite concise and don't bore the life out of them, but we look at the £4 each, and I don't say it as £4 each. What I do is I break it down weekly. And I say it's a pound a week. So it's a pound a week affordable, you know, to give you the best cover in the world, effectively. Um, and it's pretty rare that somebody will go, no, I can't afford a pound. And uh, that one I'll address later on. So when I'm selling the protection, the budget, I'll factor the global in at the very end. And I'll have a sit-down chat with them and specifically go through the global separately. Um, and we'll just go with the budget and say, look, that's your budget there. We've managed to achieve your budget. I do want to talk to you about this additional cover. This is a, quite a new thing. Here's what it would cost if you want to get it in the high street. Um, here's what we have it for. Um, and basically it's a pound a week. Would that be manageable? And I would say 99 times out of 100 people are quite fine. And they just go for it. 